Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Here we are at the new Lego Creator Carousel. It is like a merry-go-round at the fairground, but there are some important parts missing because I haven't built them yet. I've actually built the main part of the structure, but there was lots and lots of repetition and there are 2,670 pieces. So I've saved the most interesting parts to build with you and with the Lego Friends girls. Can you see which bits are missing? They can, they've gone over to check with the ticket guy, the ticket seller, and yeah, he says, look, the actual ride parts haven't been built yet, the little animals. So we're going to build them. But first up, if the girls would all like to get up here on this very, very fancy platform, we might check it out and make sure it does spin and we might even attach a motor to it. So let's do the fun parts first. So are we all up here? Almost. Stephanie's just got to find her way up. Good. They're ready. So over here is the crank, which we turn if I've put everything in correctly. Yes. When we turn it, it goes round, but ooh, <laughs> and the girls fall over and fall off. So that's not the safest ride at the moment, but I want to make this a bit more mechanical, a bit more automatic. So I'm going to install the motor. Now the motor doesn't come with this set. I had this separately with another set. So we are going to install it though. And here we go. We ready? There, look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. So there are all these little cogs and gears underneath, which make this turn oh so smoothly, even better when I attach the motor. That's such a great ride, even without the little animal rides, but we do need to build the animals and we're going to meet the minifigures that come with the set. So I've already built the ticket guy. Let's see who else comes with the set. Who have we got first here? We got, oh, it's a grandma. She's got two faces. Um, they're kind of almost exactly the same, these two faces. So grandma's here. I'm going to assume that she is here with some little kids. Maybe a, she might just also love carousels, but she's going to be taking pictures, pictures of maybe the Lego friends girls, maybe pictures of her grandkids, or maybe just random pictures of strangers. We, we don't really know. Oh, but here are some kid legs. So the first one of the kids to ride on the carousel, look at those cute little red glasses is this lovely little girl. And she also comes with, oh, she's got an icy pole. Excellent. There, a popsicle. So she's gonna hang out over here with grandma. And let's see who else we've got. There are actually quite a few minifigures in this set. I think there are six. We'll have to count when they're all done. Oh, look, it's a lady. And she's got a happy face and she's got a sleepy face on the back. So we'll make, we'll make use of that. She looks overjoyed to be here at the moment because she's come with her uh, son. Oh, look at those freckles. Look at that Ooh, slightly cheeky smirk. And he gets an ice cream. So many fairground treats. And he shared it with his mum because he's a good, lovely boy. <laughs> Who else do we have? We've got some big legs here. So this is going to be an adult. Definitely looks like a dad in that flannelette shirt. Here he is. Oh, what is that face? It's like he's trying to blow a bubble or hold his breath. That's, that's interesting. I wonder what we can use that face for. And he's got one of these new printed ticket pieces. So this is cool. No stickers on that. That is actually a printed piece for the ticket to get on the carousel. And here's another little girl. Look at the cute little pink cat emblem. And she's got the cutest freckles. And she's here with her dad, I think, and a hot dog. Love these hot dogs. There, so she can eat from this end and he can eat from that end. And oh, that's what we can use that face for. Oh, it tastes disgusting. Fairground horrible hot dogs. That, if you might just want to go out and spit that out. Mm, there we go. All right. So he's all good now. So obviously that hot dog's been sitting in the warmer for too long. Let's start with the first of the little ride builds. This one is, well, it's all white. Well, kind of all white, except for the internal parts. So this is going to be the swan boat. That's really cool. And there are seats there for two characters. And here's the little swan tail. Oh, no, hold on, I've done something wrong already. <laughs> it didn't take very long. So that goes on there. There we are. And these little animal bills are just adorable. And they're going to look so good on our carousel. So this is uh, one of the wings 
for our swan boat. Doesn't look like much yet, but you wait, we'll put the other one on. There, so that's its wings. And we can actually fit one of the mini dolls in here, as well as the mini figures. And here, yeah, there's a little eyeball. <laughs> we need a matching one on the other side. This swan looks like it is not happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> There's its orange beak and here is its swan-like neck because it is a swan so of course it's gonna be a swan-like neck and goes on here that is oh that is quite a cross looking swan however it won't be so cross when we get to put it on the ride so let me see where this needs to go here here so it's going to go on the little blue sticky uppy bits there and we can take it on or off nice and easily look at that so this one doesn't actually go up and down the other ones are going to go up and down this one is the fixed ride for those people who are a little bit more oh, <laughs> the little girls in there now too for those people a little bit wary about going on some of those big animal rides so that's so cute so we've done the swan ride that's really great oh grandma's taking some pictures too Good on you, we need to immortalize this. Make sure that we get a good record of our visit to the carousel. And now we get to build the next ride, which is, it's pink. So I'm gonna guess that this is the flamingo. And it's got this big stick, which is either gonna be its leg. Oh no, that bit looks like it might be its leg. There we are, there's a leg or a pole. I <laughs> don't really know. <laughs> we're gonna find out as we go a bit further so here's it we're up to eyeballs already let's see if this flamingo looks happy to be here oh look at its awesome little black beak ah oh, and a, the great pink neck there so that's basically it we just need that little leg that is always upwards there the flamingo is standing on one leg and will smooth over the top with some of the smooth pieces little tail There we are. And, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, where does this one go? Does it go before or after the swan? It goes after the swan. So we're gonna stick that in here and it needs to attach up the top as well. Cause at the top are some more pieces that we're going to make it go up and down. Look, can you see? It's kind of hard to see. So it takes them up and down and in a in a rotary motion. So there goes the flamingo up and down. There's nowhere to actually sit on it, which is not too silly because the kids' legs don't bend. So we'll figure out ways to sit on it. They're just gonna hold on to the pole. And Emma's going for a ride on it as well with the little girl because she didn't want to go on by herself. So that's so cool. Look at it go up and down. I love this carousel so much. which one is going to be our next animal to build and who's gonna get to ride on it so we have orange and we have black and some white and there's our stick to attach it all to oh this is the tiger who's gonna go on the tiger do you want to go on the tiger I want to go on the tiger so it's got some stripes on this side and these are going to be maybe little paws. How do they go on? They don't go on that way, because that doesn't work. Oh, there we are, I had it around the wrong way. Oh, that's its legs. <laughs> this is so cool. And another little set of legs for possibly the front or the back. <laughs> it's gonna be one or the other. <laughs> Where's its other leg? There we are. There we go. So that goes over there. So I think that might have been the front. And each one of these legs gets a paw with these cool little quarter pieces, quarter circle pieces. They look so cute. 
That's such an ingenious way to do pause. Oh, that's awesome. All right, on the back, we're going to need a tail, aren't we? So the tail's going to go on here. Fantastic. And now just we need a head. Oh, look, I can see. So that's its jaw and the eyes and little ears, little black ears. And we just need some eyeballs now. And he looks quite happy to be here. <laughs> that's so good. And we need to put the bottom half of the pole in up here. And then our tiger is ready to have some passengers. Of course, the little boy wants to go on there with his ice cream. Don't get ice cream on my new tiger. Make sure it doesn't drip. And he would like... He would like Olivia to come with him. She might need to sit down. There we go. All right, let's install the tiger. And it goes in front of the swan, yes. Except I've just missed that. So we're gonna have to go all the way around again. And I'll make sure I stop it when we get to just the right spot. There. Okay, so we put the pole in there. Make sure we can fit the tiger's tail in. And let's see how this looks. <laughs> it looks adorable. <laughs> That's just gorgeous. Oh, look at that tiger. Oh, look at the flamingo and the swan looks so cranky to be there. Maybe the swan's cranky because it's not getting to go up and down. <laughs> I know I'd be a bit cranky. Okay. Next animal, we've still got some people who want to go on the carousel and we've still got some animals to build. Now this one is green. Two different shades of green. Oh look, it's little webbed feet. It's a froggy. And the red I think is going to be its mouth. So that goes on the front here. Oh, look at that! Oh, <laughs> this is so fun. I wish I was small enough to ride this carousel. That would be so great. So maybe this, uh, they look like they might be the eyes, yes. <laughs> there. So there's the mouth, so it can open and shut. Now we need some hind legs so that the froggy can jump, but we do need the pole to attach it to, so we'll do that first. That goes over there. That clicks in there nice and securely. Now, the legs that go on this frog are my favourite part of all of the animals of all of the builds. You check this out. Because look, look at that. So they're going to go up and down when the froggy goes up and down on the pole. How awesome is that? What a fantastic design. And of course we need the other leg for the other side. There, look at that. Boing, boing, boing. So good. It's like a frog puppet, <laughs> a frog on a stick. So who's gonna ride the frog? Oh, hold on, we need to put the bottom stick bit on so that it can attach on both ends. Now it doesn't go up and down properly for me off the carousel, but it will when it's on the carousel and when it's all motorized. So who's going on the froggy? Well, actually, we might just jump the froggy over to here. We might install the froggy first. Let's find, I think he goes behind the flamingo. Oh no, no he doesn't. He goes in front of the tiger. So we put him in here, just make sure his legs are in the right position. It's all crouched in properly. Attach him at the top and let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, weren't you on the swan before? Have you had enough of the swan? And who's going to come with you? Mia's going to come with you. Are you going to stand on the frog's head? You might want to sit down. I think it would be more comfortable if you sit down and if you put your milkshake down too. There we go. Oh, look, it's in the swan. <laughs> the mum's falling asleep. And look at that frog. Oh, that just is so, so, so good. Can you tell how excited I am about this? It just is turning out so fantastically. We've got one more 
animal to build and it's the biggest one. It's all grey. Can you guess what it is? What are we going to need that's big and grey and it's going to go on the carousel? Have you figured it out yet? I think you probably figured it out a long time ago. So it's currently sitting on its side. There we go. Now if we just put four of these big paws on, the feet on, you're definitely going to know what it is. Look at those big beautiful elephant feet and the little studs on it even look like elephant toenails. <laughs> so awesome. Now this here is going to be the back where they can ride on it. Look at the cute little tail. That's just perfect. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Look at how big it is compared to the mini dolls. And of course we need the head. So let's make the head so that the elephant can see where it's going. Round and round in a circle lots and lots of times. Look at the trunk. <laughs> And we're going to have the eyes on the on the side there and we're going to have room for tusks by the look of it. Look at that. That's just so good and I can see a spot for some big flappy elephant ears. So let's build them. Actually we need to just do the head first and we I, I think I preempted the ears. I thought that was going to be ears. Here's an ear. Oh and I've just knocked the face off. There. One big flappy elephant ear and now we get the other one. Just absolutely adorable. Look at that and so clever. Now we need to put the bottom part of the pole on and our elephant is ready for some riders. Who's going on the elephant? Well Stephanie has been hanging out to go on the elephant. There. And who's going on the elephant with her? Andrea is going on the elephant with her. You can't hold your, your pink smoothie. Actually, there's a spot on top of the ear where you can actually put the smoothie. <laughs> That's just a little bit wrong. <laughs> but it's very useful. So we're going to put the elephant in the one spot that's left. Over here next to the stairs. There we go. We'll click it in the top and we'll watch the elephant go. Wow, that's actually so so high up there. Look at that! Look at the elephant. It's the biggest of them all. You're going to have to be so brave to ride on the elephant. Well, that is fantastic. I can think of all different ways that I can play with this carousel, but at the moment, the minifigures that come with it and the Lego Friends girls are having just the most marvelous time riding the carousel. And Grandma's still down there taking pictures. She's such a good grandma. I could watch this go around all day, but I think the batteries on my motor will probably wear out. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Well, I've got some ideas to maybe change some of the rides on the carousel. So make sure that you subscribe and you click the little bell so you get notified when new videos go up. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'm going to be back with a new video. You know it very, very soon.